Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a lather bro shoe tonight using Life's a Beach. This stuff smells incredible, it smells, I can't, can't quite put my finger on it. If I'm honest, it smells almost like a sort of Caribbean air freshener for your car. It's a really sort of tooty fruity sort of scent pineapples and this other sort of nice fruits down there, it just smells absolutely brilliant. Now the only problem with this one is that I find is it's just a label and this one's on a little bit of squint, started peeling a little bit, so little things like that annoy me. The label on the front isn't, the label on the front is spot on, so that's not too bad really, but that's just little things that I pick on normally. Brush for today is the Murgress. Now this has got a 24 mil, 24 mil Manchurian, I think, maybe a 26, can't freaking remember now, memory's dreadful. But it's a lovely little brush, matches perfectly with the, the Murgress, basically because it's the exact same style as the Murgress, made by the same people. Now the knot that I got originally in this from West Coast, the West Coast Shaving, from Bulgur shaving was a 24 mil silver tip. Now I had the brush, I used it four or five times, lather but a couple of times and the knot fell out. I measured the knot and it was actually a 22 mil knot that was in it so I was a little bit annoyed and I think to be honest Phil from Bulgur shaving was as well because these were actually, they were installed by I just cannot think of the name of the company now. They were installed by a different company anyway, another shaving company over in the States. So I think he was a little bit annoyed, as I was, but he did return me refund him a full amount. Didn't want me to send the brush or anything back. And I had to fork out another, I think I paid 60 or 70 bucks to have that new knot re knotted and have it done correctly with a denser knot, a nicer knot. So. It's worked out well for me in a sense, it's cost me less than what a brand new brush would have cost but on the upside with Phil over at Bill Goose Shaving he got to find out that it wasn't a very well made brush and obviously on the channel things get seen and I'm not sure when they're coming back, I hope he does bring them back, the handle on it is stunning, solid aluminium. If they do come back, there was talk, he was looking into getting Simog to do the the knots and set the knots for him. I don't know whether that'll actually come to fruition or not, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's easy. If you haven't used lather bros before, it's an easy to load soap, super easy to lather soap, doesn't matter whether you're using synthetic or an actual hair brush really. You can't really do it wrong.
check this stuff out. It's just incredible. So easy to lather. The knot in that brush now. Oh, just took a shit ton of soap in my mouth there. It still tastes nice. If it tastes nice, that's a good sign for me normally. Right, pairing up with a Murgress brush is the Murgress razor. As you can see, it's got the same little knob on the bottom. Same shape as the brush was. And I've got a brand new Gillette stainless blade in here. I've only got two of those blades left. I'll be using them up over the next. I'll go rid of them. I'm trying to go through all the sort of loose blades I've got that I don't really use often. That I don't use at all really. I've got this on setting three. Now the last time I used this soap, this actual one, I think I had a slight reaction afterwards, but I used this soap the day before that I reacted to, so I never know. Whether it's just a reaction to the previous reaction or whether I've actually got a reaction to this soap, so we shall find out. I don't normally get a reaction with the first lather and only get it with the second lather and beyond. Now this blade is another Gillette blade but doesn't it's nice. But for me it's not as nice as the Nasset. Just not as smooth, is it? So it's the seventh today, I believe, as well. So seven days to my birthday. Fourteenth of March, and believe it or not, I'm only turning thirty-four. Just a really hard paper run. Jesus, that shave's so nice, that razor. Now because this is a shorter handle brush, it's a very short handle actually, shorter than the stubby style. I find that the handle itself gets covered a bit in lather, it's not a major issue, it's still reasonably easy to hold on to but... If you're a bit of a clumsy bloke. It's not the best thing to drop into a glass sink or anything like that because it's, it's a reasonably heavy brush. Right, across the grain, setting three still. Thank you. 
It just doesn't compete with the Nasset Blade, in my opinion. Down to setting one. I don't need to go another pass, I'm, I'm literally super close. That's a fantastic shave, I tell you what, not normally to get anywhere near that close. Just on two passes. I mean there's nothing there. In terms of reaction to the soap, I don't think I've had one at all. I've nicked. I'm pretty sure I've nicked myself over here somewhere. I'm getting a bit of a sting just in boom one spot. Are you ready yet or what? By the looks of the things, I think it's a creeper. It ain't coming out yet. But it'll be out soon. Life's a beach. After shave balm. Smells incredible. Oh, really does. Beautiful whack him in the thaw. Lovely burn from it. But here, yeah, got it. But it absorbs very, very quickly. Doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy at all. A little bit, just a little bit of razor burn just around my lips there. I am trying to go against the grain more around about my lips. I like it to be nice and smooth around there. Mainly for the wife, of course. But and for me a little bit. Just give the brush a rinse out while that's drying up. Now this silver tip's from Tony Forsyth over in Australia, over in the Eastern States. TF Custom Shaving Brushes. He does excellent work with these brushes. He also does Renauts. They are more expensive than most. I've got to say his, his service is more expensive. But then again, he does a phenomenal job as well. And he's local to Australia, so it's good to sort of give the business to the local boys as well. Well, I've seen that. I did send some stuff over to the States to where he restores. Who did a phenomenal job on my Manchester United brush and my Cadman brush as well. Rinse the soap out. That's been done and dusted. So the soap for today was Lather Brothers or Lather Bros. Life on a beach. Life on a beach. Life isn't on a beach. Life's a beach. Or a bitch, depending on where you come from. When it's boiling hot, it's generally a bitch. 
beautiful, beautiful shaving soap. I love the labels, I love the design of the tubs. I just think it's a great business. Really, really nice people that run it as well. The brush for today was the Murgress. Silver tip. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a Manchurian white, white Manchurian, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm still a bit torn between what Manchurian is and silver tip and all that. Silver tip to me is slightly softer than finest. But it's also a less, they make the knots less dense I find with silver tip, so it never seems to give you quite as much scrubbing backbone as a finest. But if you densely packed it, I would imagine it feel pretty similar to a finest. You know what I mean? All these brushes have a different feel, I have to say. This feels totally different to my Morrison Fondren and the, the Magar brushes, and definitely completely different to the mixed knots as well. But it's very soft, it's got beautiful big bloom on it. I mean, it's like a mushroom, it really is. And it smells phenomenal as well. The razor to go with it, the Murgress razor. All it really is, is a Murka Progress, which is this part here, from there up, all the head and everything, with a stainless steel knob on it. It is simply that, it's nothing more than that. I think it adds character to it, but more than anything, it adds a balance of weight to the bottom of it. And the balance of this razor is phenomenal, and it cuts as smooth as anything I've used. It's a really excellent razor. And it will most likely outlast most razors in my den in terms of actually staying in the den. I don't think this will ever leave my den, if I'm honest. Everything else in my den is probably, apart from most of my brushes, it's probably expendable. I don't think that will be. Finished off today with the Life's at Beach aftershave balm. And that is phenomenal. I have, look. If you can see that right there, slice myself. I did actually feel a little, felt like a bump. So I've obviously cut myself, and it's that is what you call a creeper, where you don't see it, you don't see it, and then whew, out it comes. Anyway, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. I'm looking forward to the next one as well. I have been shaving on and off the camera. I, I know my vow to myself was to do it all on camera, but the new job is quite exhausting. It's quite taxing. And I'm just trying to fit in as many as I can and try and keep the, the channel as active as I can while I'm going through this really busy training schedule and also trying to fit in my window cleaning and everything else for my other business. So you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.